Welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. In this video, I am going to talk about finding out which database is consuming maximum IO. Just in the previous video, I showed uh, how to find out which database is consuming maximum CPU cycles. And just to be technically correct, I mentioned that it is actually the workloads that consume CPU cycles, not the database. But it always helps uh, to narrow down amongst so many databases that you have, which database is consuming maximum CPU time. And likewise, in this video, I am going to show you uh, amongst so many databases that you have in your instances, which database is actually contributing towards maximum IO. And when you talk about IO, it's read and write. And of course, read and write uh, put together where you can try to find out total IO. And um, DMVs are, of course, uh, really the bread and butter for uh, SQL professionals, and they give so much information. It is so overwhelming when you work with uh, dynamic management views. There are more than 200 DMVs, and each DMV has these dozens and dozens of columns with uh, so many metrics flying around. It is always important that we use the right DMV, choose the right specific columns uh, that we need, and uh, of course, um, uh, do a lot of mathematics and try to extract or compute more meaningful information. Now, this is uh, the uh, a very simple output that I'm trying to construct, uh, which is get the database name and get the uh, total IO in megabytes. And of course, the read and the write. And total is going to be read uh, plus the write. And of course, sort this data in descending format so I can actually see my top five or top 10 databases that are uh, contributing maximum towards IO. And then uh, this kind of uh, analysis is helpful where I can uh, focus my troubleshooting. I can focus my performance uh, tuning towards such user uh, databases and then go and look into those workloads, indexes, and a and lot of other things. But finding out the, the databases uh, really helps in many ways. Action time, let's jump to demo. Let's get started. The DMV that I'm going to use is uh, DM underscore IO virtual file stats. And uh, as I've mentioned a couple of times before, uh, there are dynamic management views and there are dynamic management functions and uh, dynamic management functions, they accept parameters. So for this particular DMV slash DMF, you have to supply the database ID that you want to work with. And of course, you can also specify the file ID. So if you see, uh, you can uh, a database can have multiple files, the log file and the database uh, files, or rather the data files. So you could exactly see the IO statistics for each database and for each file, data file or log file in that database. But uh, we want uh, to get an output where we are trying to see cumulative information across all the database. So I am going to specify null for uh, the database uh, ID and I'm going to say null for file ID, which is going to give me the statistics for all the databases and all the files. And it says dim IO virtual uh, file stats as null star from. Okay, so that will be sys dot sorry about that now let's go and look into the output sorry again so this is the kind of output that you uh, get and you can see a lot of metrics flying across the screen so you have the database id and as i said each database id has multiple files uh, out there and uh, two here stands for the log file one stands for the data file and of course if you have more data files, the numbering will be like three, four, so on and so forth. And then um, important columns for us here, of course, is number of bytes read. And then uh, you have a number of uh, bytes written. So you have the read and the written. And of course, if we take a total of that, we get the uh, total IO. So these are some of the columns that I'm going to use in my mathematics. So let's uh, keep this a little aside and let's start formulating the, the query now, which we need. And 
let's take this and how am, how am I going to formulate this one more thing that I want to show you before I actually start formulating the query and uh, based on the output that I need it's always good to um, you know go into uh, docs.microsoft.com and try to find out the DMV uh, or the set of DMVs that you're going to work with uh, it gives me a good overview as to what really the DMV is all about and which all uh, SQL database products it applies to. As many of you know, we have SQL Server on-premise and we have Azure SQL database as well uh, to see if this DMV will be applicable to Azure SQL DB or not. Uh, it helps because when you're writing a, a query or a, you know, you're troubleshooting, you may always want to include uh, or write queries that can run across uh, different uh, products, uh, you know, on-prem as well as cloud. And then I give a special focus on all these columns here. So it, it always makes sense to spend some time reading through the description of what each column means here. And then is it important for you in your uh, query output? And would you like to do some mathematics on that? And then of course, there are some sample queries with, uh, with these DMVs and you know, you can always copy paste and kind of run them to just kind of, uh, uh, get a quick overview of what the output is like. So yeah, a bit of research always helps in, uh, in trying to get the right kind of output. Back to SQL Server Management Studio. Now let's try to formulate this query. So first things first, we need the name of the database. And as you can see the result here, you have the database ID. So I will use the uh, function, which is a uh, DB uh, name. And I'm going to say database uh, ID, which is the uh, column name. And let's say as database name. So that's my first column that I get. Now I'm going to play with uh, columns that are a uh, number of bytes red and I will just do the formula a bit uh, and then I can see number okay a uh, number of bytes red and then I will say number of uh, bytes written that will be my second column or and in fact I will take uh, these two and actually say number of files red plus written and I'm going to call this as um, total um, IO in MB. Now, this is byte. So, of course, you got to convert um, uh, this into MB. And so I can just do select 1024 uh, into 1024. And what do you get is 1048576. So what you can do is uh, divide bytes and get into kilobytes and then kilobytes into megabytes. So we can always say this plus this Sorry about that and um, We can always divide this by uh, The number one zero four eight five seven six so that you can get the total um, MB and then because I have uh, multiple files here log files and the data files of course I want to group uh, so I can do a sum here of this value and get as total i okay and um, let's move to the next one and i can do the same here as sum of number of bytes red and likewise i have to get this um, value here as well to convert this into mb and this will be um, total io mb so this can be just read mb I mean, feel free to put any column name that gives you a lot of comfort and uh, then number of bytes written and then I can say one zero. Let me just copy paste this one here and this will be my right MB. There you go. And now we get this from virtual file stats. Yeah, of course, sorry, uh, I can't, I don't want to remove this null thing because I'm getting this across all the columns. And then I can, um, of course, uh, um, of course, do an order by, um, let me say group by first. <coughs> so I want to group by the database ID column group by the database ID and we'll do an order by total IOMB in descending. 
So this is what we want to do. So here goes our query where we get the database name, we get the uh, total uh, IO in megabytes. And of course, if you want to be more precise, you can always convert this as uh, into decimal um, and then you can get fractions. But for, uh, I mean, basic analysis, it's good enough to get a, a whole number as well. And then you get the read and the write. And you may want to focus on order by total IOMB. But if you are uh, trying to investigate a lot of uh, read issues, you can maybe um, try to drill down on, you know, order by read MB or uh, for that matter, even write MB. Uh, so that, that completely depends on how you are trying to investigate your IO issues in your environment. And let's go and execute this. And here you get the output. This is very similar to what I was trying to show on the slide. So now when you see this kind of output, it always helps uh, you to kind of drill down or narrow down on some of these uh, top databases that are consuming or contributing towards uh, heavy IO usage. Back to the slides. Hope the demo was worth your time. Well, then thank you very much for your time for uh, watching this video. I hope to meet you again soon in another video.